To set up and install Packer on a Windows machine, we want to navigate to packer.io and select the download button. And it should automatically detect uh, your operating system. However, if it doesn't, just select whichever operating system you're using. So in this case, it's going to be Windows and we want to select download. And once that's finished downloading, we'll get a zip folder. We want to extract it. So we'll right click it and then go to extract all. And at this point, it should pop open uh, with the extracted folder. And you'll see that it just has one file and that's the packer.exe file. So what we wanna do is just copy this and find a good place to store this file. Now, it doesn't matter where you store it. You can store it uh, under my documents, my downloads. Uh, the only thing that matters is you remember where you store it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my C drive and I'm just gonna create a new folder. I'm just gonna call this Packer. And within this folder, I'm just gonna paste this file in here. But once again, remember, you guys can pick any location you want. Uh, the only thing that you have to remember to do is just grab the link to the location of this file. So if you click up here, just highlight that and copy it. And now what we wanna do is we wanna set up our environment variables so that we can actually use the Packer command uh, from any directory. So under the search bar, just type in env, and when you wanna select edit the system environment variables. And under the advanced tab, select environment variables. And then under the system variables, what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down and look for the one called path. And here we'll hit edit, and we want to select new, and then just paste in the location of that file. So I'm going to do C colon slash Packer, hit OK, hit OK, and then hit OK again. And if you have any terminals um, open at the moment, uh, close them out now, because uh, for the changes to take effect, you need to make sure that you close out all your terminals and reopen them. And so we'll, I'm going to type in CMD so we can get a new command line. And now to verify that Packer was installed or set up correctly, type in Packer dash dash version. Okay, and if you see it spit out the version, uh, and if you see it spit out the specific version, uh, that means the installation's complete and everything went okay. You may see a slightly different version if you're watching this video in the future. That's okay, just make sure you see this output and nothing else.